something like that. So, first little bit on that is uh, basic sort of chord shapes. The first one. It's kind of like you take a six string minor chord, like a bar chord there. C sharp minor, so up on the ninth. Fret. But these two strings are just going to stay open, E and A, while the next four are playing that C sharp minor chord. So I'm doing everything on the ninth fret with my first finger. My ring finger is getting the eleventh fret of the D. And the E and A string are just open. And then the next one, which when I actually do the tapping with this hand, it's like a minor 7, B minor 7. And normally, if I was going to play that, I would use my ring finger on the 9th fret of the a string. So my first finger is on the seventh fret across all six strings, barring. And I'm using my middle finger for this. Just because once we get into the fancier part, my ring finger is actually doing a hammer on from the seventh fret to the ninth fret of that E string. Which you could do like this. My pinky's just. Not quite as accurate as my ring finger is for that, so that's why I just do the stretch between those two fingers. That's the second chord. And the third chord is kind of like an A major. Again, six string bar chord shape your major shape. First finger, across the fifth fret. And my index finger is on the sixth fret of G. And my ring finger is on the seventh fret of the A. And my pinky is just underneath my ring finger on the seventh fret of the D. So we got But in this one, what's a little bit different is I'm not actually barring all the way across with my index finger because the E and the B string, I let just ring open. So if you have a hard time doing the bar chord, you don't have to worry about it because really this finger just has to push down on the fifth fret of the E, the big E. And it gives it a cool sound there. First chord. Second chord. Third chord. This one's like a C-sharp minor, but we have an open E and A string. And then it's like a B minor 7. And then this is like an A major, but the E and B strings down here, two little ones, those are open. time just the chord shapes and then in the next one we'll get into the fancy tapping